Jesus. He says to the blind man, come and follow me. <laughs> now, this is the insanity of God. Because he's blind. He did not bring himself there. But God says to him, come and follow me. I'm telling you that child of God that when you make a demand on God in your life to do something for you for the 99.99 .99 percentile of you that are sitting here that many times he makes a demand on you I got to I, I got to deal with it because the trouble why some of us have not gotten what we desire from God is that he's asking for a commitment that seems to be too much for you because of all of your limitations he asks for you to love when you don't have a heart to love because you've been broken he asks for you to give when it's already tight he asks for you to stick yourself and become committed to service and work in your church when I barely got time for my own life and he says to you but God how can I he says to a blind man blind man come and follow me God is the only God that says to people with handicaps limited resources and limited means that he says to them I need you to reach beyond the brink of your limitation and trust me to walk with me what gets me what gets me what gets me about the text is that he tells the blind man he says blind man come and follow him now I always say this and I say it very well that that blind man was like me and I'm a big brother and I love to eat and I'm sure that he couldn't make it to big mama's house that afternoon by following Christ that I found out that God will never do anything in your life until you can leave your comfort zone what's familiar what's comfortable the reason